Well hello, hello and welcome back. I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy and what an array of goodies I've got on my desk today. Just like yesterday, I am doubling up today. So today is Wednesday, it's the day that we have been working in our Lynn Moncrief inspired accordion book. So another page in there today. So although we're doing that today, I am combining te day 10 of December Ember with leaves and envelope. And I am working on Lynn's A Study of Leaves. So I've got Jess on a paint palette. I've got some inks, whoops, collapse of the keyboard. I've got some inks, I've got some paints and distress ink there. I've got stamps. Okay. This is the centre of a Christmas wrapping paper. You know you get the thin roll of paper now rather than the cardboard tube. Well, I've just, you can see it wants to curl. I've just cut that up a bit so we're using some scraps there I've got three pieces of cardboard corrugated cardboard this one's still got a bit of paper on it and I've got three small pieces of white card and I have got the partridge from the Defemember animals and surprise, surprise, I believe this is actually the right animal to go with the leaves. So, something right today. <laughs> so, I'm going to start by moving all of this, now that you know what I've got, out of the way. Let's open up our book. Now, this is the page that we are going to work on here. And this is the middle layer of a napkin, which I have soaked in coffee dyed PVA. You can see it's a bit shiny. And I have layered on some green skeleton leaves. I've got a few of these lying around. So I just tore some off and I thought we could fold this up, make this into an envelope that will sit on our page there. So there's our envelope and leaves, and we'll do some trimming on this to either add further decoration to the envelope or to go inside. Okay, so that's the December Ember bit. And then for the Limon Creef study of excuse me study of leaves I'm gonna make some tags now she had a large piece of corrugated card with three tags on and each tag had a different leaf on it you know the study of the leaf so I just want to check, this is just a tag that I was going to use for size, so I need it a little bit smaller than that. So what is that? That is my stand, well it's not my standard actually, because that's three by one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six, three by six. So we basically want, the three inches is going to be fine looking at that envelope size so there's our three inches so i'm just gonna tear that down there and then another three inches bear in mind we only want three of these so we've got plenty of this and the thing about this wrapping paper in it is that it's not thick card but it is much thicker than paper so it's a nice thing you know nice substrate to be working with really so I'm going to come across three again 
like that. Now, how long? We want them about five, don't we? So, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So, tear it off there. And I think I've said a few times lately, I'm really into square rather than angled tags. So, I'm going to leave that square. I'm going to line that up to the three, come to the eight. My math says that makes it five. And then the last one I'm going to do again, put it against the three, line it up, and come to the eight. There we go. So these are going to be our three tags. I'll put them like that. Each one of those is going to have one of these corrugated cards on, and then it's also going to have one of these cards on it. I don't know yet if I want to do it probably like that. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start by putting gesso on these and putting ink on these. So first things first, let's get ourselves a page to work on. Okay, so I'm going to lay these on here like so. I'll get some gesso in my pot. Come on. I know there's plenty in here. There we go. Am I like a naughty schoolgirl? Is it just overly <clears throat> satisfying when a pot makes that kind of noise? like five-year-old I just love it I just it makes me smile every time I think at my age I'd uh, grown out of such things wouldn't you but there you go as you can see I'm painting it quite thickly but also quite roughly if there's areas that haven't got the gesso in I'm not that bothered okay so that's those done like that. I'm going to move that so it can dry and then if we get another page, I'm trying desperately not to um, get mess all over my desk, that's the thing. So then we'll put these three on here. I'm going to give them, because I've got so much of it out, a coat of gesso. So I trust everybody is happy, safe and well. Right, so that's them. So now what I want to do is this is the Artiste Metallic Copper. So I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of that in there. This one is just black acrylic. And I'm just going to... Oh, I can't open it. There you go. Whoops. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of that in there. Okay. Got it all over my hands. I'm in a terrible, terrible mess. <clears throat> and then... I'm just going to splat this around a bit, whoops, like, oh goodness me, see, don't want to get it on my desk and then I've dropped a loaded paintbrush, that's ridiculous, 
Okay, and now I'm going into the black. I'm just going <laughs> to... looks a bit like fake leopard skin, doesn't it, at the moment? Okay. Then I'm going to take my oxide, distress oxide gathered twigs. Okay, there's obviously not enough left in here, so this is going to be a splatter job. Just to get a nice array of colour in here. Okay, I'm going to pause you a minute while I clean up that bit of desk. And then we'll carry on. Okay, now I've just got a bottle of water that's got a bit of a spray in, and I'm just going to spray this round to wet this card. I'm going to bring my book in, and I'm just literally going to turn it upside down on my book. Okay. And obviously I've got a lovely mess, but look how it's coloured up my card. Okay, so then this one, do exactly the same. Oh, that one's gone really mucky, look at that. And then this one, the same. Okay. And then I'm just going to put them down like so. Get a fresh page here on my book. And now I'm going to splatter them again and then I'm going to dry them. So that's that one. And this one, now again, I'm going to pause you while I do the really horrible, noisy drawing, and then we'll come back and use them. Okay, so here we go again then. This is, as it were, round three. <laughs> so I've got my tags now. And I've got a block. And I've got my Linmore Cree stencils. Not stencils, stamps. And I think we're going to... My most favourite is this great long text one so I think we're going to use this we're going to cover it in black ink sorry if I'm jogging the camera bashing on the table whoops well, I'm absolutely filthy <laughs> it's a good job you saw I was clean when we started Hold that down for a minute. Look at the state of me. Oh well. I haven't asked. Is everybody happy, safe and well? It's all going... Oh, that didn't work very well, did it? Can we try that again? Wow. It's all going good in your world? I don't know what happened there. Feel like we should almost have a stamping, stamping platform out so that we can overlay if need be. Right, should we try that again? That's 
very bizarre. It's better, it's still not very good, is it? What is going on? What is going on? This is not good. Didn't have any problems last time I used these stamps. Might just be that they've not been used for a little while. Right, I'm going to try another one now because I don't want to keep overlaying on that one. Okay, much better. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. Third time lucky, what do you think? Oh dear. Hey, you know, when it goes wrong, it really goes wrong. <laughs> hear me rocking my desk. I don't know if you can hear it actually. Again, better. Not brilliant, but better. Okay, so what I want to do, I'm going to see now I'm going to cover it up completely if I put that on there, aren't I? Why do I feel like I'm not supposed to stamp these? Do you know what? Hmm, that's interesting, isn't it? Because look, I've done that and now that's just going to go straight on top of it. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out another stamp. See, perhaps that's why it wouldn't work. Perhaps that was the universe trying to tell me, Claire, you've made a big boo-boo there. Don't do it. Might be. I swear the universe tries to tell us things all the time. Right, so now I'm going to go round the edge because that is where we're going to see this odd circle scribble. Okay. See, that's better, isn't it? Need some more down there. So let's get another one of these and put this one on. Oh, now you can see that's definitely inking up. So there's nothing wrong with the ink pad. do is I put them both together so we're not losing the ink. Hmm, no, it's not good. Not good at all really. Oh, I've got a bit of a disaster going on there and I don't quite know why. Hmm. Not happy about that. I don't know why they're not they're not working. But anyway, we've got some markings around the edge of this one. Um, I'm going to put the lid on there. We might have to rethink that in a minute. Um, we've got some markings going on around the edge, so that's fine. And then I'm thinking if I bring in a leaf and I put this long, thin leaf on here, And I ink this up. I trust you can see what I'm doing, and I'm not now also hanging off screen. And I put that on there like that. Perfect. That's what I want. 
Right, let's do all three while we've got something going good, shall we? This one, I think I'm going to do in the sepia ink. So... This one works as well as the last one did. See, I'm, I don't know why I'm having such a problem stamping today. Goodness me. It's not my day for stamping, is it? How can these things just be proving so difficult when they're so basic? Hey, you want to know what not to do? Pop over and see Claire. She'll show you a good time messing it up. <laughs> I said I should have got my stamping block out. No, you really, really can't see it. Is it because it's brown and that's quite dark? Shall we try again? I don't have this problem with fabric. <laughs> See, it's because I've been doing all this stitching lately. Right, let's try this. And then I think I'm just going to give up, really. Make the one that has worked. Oh, yeah, no, we can sort of see that, but not very well. Shall we try it on this one? Let's try this one. That's better. Right, well we've got, you know, two out of three isn't bad, is it? <laughs> Goodness me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some glue and I'm going to glue up this piece of cardboard like so. Okay, and I'm going to pop that in the centre there. Not worried about the excess glue because a, it will dry clear, and B, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now on this one, where we actually got a proper print, and we could see what we got, I'm going to do a wide fussy cut, and come all the way round like that, and then come back round the other way so nice wide fussy cut glue that up and then that is going to sit on there like that so there is our first tag. Whoops. Okay. So I know you can see that there. This one, which was the second one that sort of worked, but not quite so well. I'm just going to do it again a wide fussy cut round it. And then we can... Um, back in and we can because I did this on the skew with you see this one and that's why looks a bit of a weird shape this one but you can see the leaf on it so put this on to I'm going to use this one I think this one like that okay 
we're going to bring this back and try, 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 try to get some stamp around the edge that's going to show up. Actually, do you know what I never thought? It might be some kind of coating on this this rub. Oh no, that's working now. Look. So turn this round. Put it that side. probably just going to do two because well the stress levels are going through the roof here because <laughs> it's well it's not doing what I want it to do and that you know is not ideal when you're doing a video is it so we'll just do the two even though Lynn did three okay so that's our two leaves in the leaf study. Whoops. And then we've got our envelope to contend with. And I'm thinking a line of glue up there is what we need. So I'm actually just going to use PVA for this. PVA up the side there, close that over, stick that down, okay, right, so that's our envelope sealed up there, um, and we got to decide now whether we're going to put our toucan not our toucan we used toucan the other day our partridge you see this is all going wrong i should just give up really and have a snow day shouldn't i do we put this inside or are we gonna fussy cut it let's try and see what happens if we fussy cut it and pull it on as an added decoration to our envelope, our leafy envelope. There are so many defemera, defemera, oh, defemera, anyway, you know what I mean. There are so many of those videos on the internet at the moment. You know, you start to wonder if people are fed up with them actually. I'm probably going to stop here um, with regard to doing them purely because I've got a printer issue and as you can probably see everything's got lines on it so I need to sit and concentrate on sorting out my printer and these were the only ones that I had printed out um, so I'm probably going to stop here and just concentrate um, on what I'm doing because there's only really a week left. I mean, tomorrow's collage day because it's Thursday. Friday will be postcard. So then there's um, Monday. I don't usually do a video anyway, and I'm not here. It's my visit to my mum. Now, if I put him there, you can't really see that that is a leaf can you because it's right oh you can if i move it over a bit there you go um because it's my monthly visit to my mum and then tuesday is my wedding anniversary so hubby and i will be out 
um, and then Wednesday it's Christmas food shop day so I may be here Wednesday um, <clears throat> I will be here Thursday um, I doubt I'll be here Friday and then um, so I think probably Thursday I'll be here I won't be here after today uh, sorry next week shall we start this again so I'll be here tomorrow which is collage day and then I won't be here till next Thursday so it's a whole week you'll have to manage without me um, and then that will probably be the last one and I'll pop in in what we call the Twixmas days you know the time between Christmas and New Year and tell you about what's going on next year so you know I will be taking some time now I don't know that I want to lose that beautiful back so I think what I'm going to do, can I fit that on there? No, that's too small. I'm just going to quickly find a piece of, oh, coffee dyed paper, like so. This is the rest of the bit we used yesterday. And I'm going to make a quick pocket to stick down the bottom there. So yeah, I'm going to start to take some time for Christmas. Um, I'm going to pop that down there. I believe I've cut it or torn it too wide so i'm just going to put some extra glue there see it's just a video of disasters today i obviously need a break don't i <laughs> oh dear okay so now that means that i can put my envelope when it's when this is dried that will hold my envelope in place which means we won't have lost the back so I'm going to take that out for a minute so that that can dry. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one there. I'll be a surprise behind our envelope. So I'm going to glue this up. And stick this down like so. So then we've got tag one as a secret background. We've got our envelope going inside. I'm trying. I shouldn't do it. You know you shouldn't do it, Claire, because you know you're going to damage your seal. See? We should have waited. That's going to pop in there. Okay. And then, as with this was the only stamp that I could get to work properly, I'm going to pull... Will that fit it? Yes. That's a piece of that wrapping paper. Insert. I'm just going to put that on there. I'm going to stamp that in there like that. Perfect. And then I'm just going to glue this up and stick it on my pocket. So this is the, whoops, Limber Crease stamp. So there's a true piece of her there. And then there is our idea, or my idea, of her inspired study of leaf 
on the tab or the tag that's behind. There you go. I apologise for the chaos. We did get there in the end. I hope you've had some fun, if only in laughing at me, having a disaster of a time. Stay safe. I'll be back with you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Mm -hmm.